what is up BDS crew so I had two well actually one job and two bids today I ended up adding one bid on uh, while I was at my first stop today so I did some carpet and some upholstery which you will be seeing here shortly um, and I am posting doing this video after the fact so I wanted to have a little intro thing here to talk about uh, what I'm be doing for the day so like I said I did some upholstery and four rooms of carpet and traffic areas there uh, this was a brand new client that got referred to me through another client that I actually did only two let's see no probably about three weeks ago now and uh, they referred me out immediately which is fantastic and um, just finished up that job so uh, thank you so much to my client for that um, so love referrals who doesn't and um, so upholstery four rooms of carpet and then went and did some more carpet bids afterwards uh, two bigger homes two-story houses uh, well, those will be great jobs that'll be coming up I got one of them set for this week on Thursday and then the other one had to step out um, a little bit before I got to do the bed so I left it there with somebody else that is there so I should be hearing back about that one hopefully later today if not tomorrow and get that one on the books and get them taken care of as well so um, yeah so just to reiterate uh, some stuff that you're gonna hear in the video later we as of this time that this video is being shot we are watching daily with our state and local law on whether or not we're allowed to operate. So um, we're checking on that every day to make sure that we're following, you know, what we're supposed to be doing, that we're still considered an essential business, which, um, you know, at this time in being clean is kind of an essential thing. Clean home is a healthy home. And in order to properly sanitize something from what we learned from the IICRC some teachers um, one of them in particular that I had a three-day class for water mitigation um, he's they said at that time when it was when this um, information was put out which I believe was on the 26th or, or 27th uh, that in order to sanitize you need to clean first so if you plan on sanitizing your own uh, countertops you know surfaces whatever it is you got to clean it first and then apply the sanitizer let it dwell for usually 10 to 15 minutes from my understanding depending on what the label says always follow the label label is the law and uh, that's what they said so clean first and then sanitize it's just like washing your hands you go and clean them first and then you can use the sanitizer afterwards so when I'm done with a job, I use my machine back here that has a fresh water outlet. I wash my hands. And then when I get into my van here in the front where I'm currently sitting, I will sanitize my hands with some hand sanitizer. So I'm following what I was instructed is proper uh, use between cleaning and sanitizing for my own um, hands and, you know, wrist area. So that's what I do, and that's what I've been doing with my tools. Um, I've been spraying them off with with hot water um, from my machine, so it's actually about 170 to 190, depending on how quickly I use it after I've um, slowed my machine down. It could be coming out as much as 230 degrees uh, where I'm spraying it down and then wiping it off afterwards, and then I have that tool that I showed you guys in a previous video. If you go back and take a look at it you'll see it's called the hoser you send the hose line through it and then it cleans and uh, squeegees off and then there's some brushes on it to get in between the little grooves on the vacuum lines to clean those off uh, before they go back in my van that way my lines are clean every single time before I move into a new home so we found that tool uh, a while back and just hadn't gotten it yet and got it in recently and I've been using it after each job to make sure that my hoses are clean um, in a faster way because I was doing it by hand um, 
and so that you know takes a little time if you really need to hand wipe them all down individually the vacuum lines are kind of a pain in the butt to hand wipe so now it's not so difficult it goes a lot faster um, just hook that tool up with a vacuum line and a steam line and boom send it through um, with it, which is super easy when when you have a um, electric hose wheel for the vacuum line at least is so much easier to deal with because you let that do the work of pulling it and then boom all set so I'm doing my part and like I said as of the time that I filmed this video that is exactly what I was told to do clean and then disinfect so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoy this video uh, I plan on doing more as much as I can until instructed to otherwise to stop as far as working uh, I do have some jobs on the books for this week uh, videos may be a little bit less it really just depends on how much work is still gonna come through we totally understand um, you know people are wanting to hold off right now because they want to do as much social distancing as possible but considering I am operating on my own or with another worker I am practicing social distancing while I'm at somebody's house because obviously they're not gonna hover around my area within six feet of me while I clean because if you're cleaning a surface usually you need people that are not with your business um, you know a distance away so that way they're not tracking stuff back on clean surfaces while you're trying to work on them so that's what we got going on so far as soon as we hear otherwise you might see a drop off on videos for a little bit but fear not as soon as all this is over which I pray is soon and everybody can go back to their normal life and um, I hope everybody out there is healthy that is watching and nobody is dealing with this at all uh, if anybody is you know know that know that um, Black Diamond is is thinking about you guys all you that have subscribed those that are leaving comments thank you so much for your your time watching these videos we greatly appreciate you you are helping me hit that goal um, I'm seeing subscribers still coming in last time I checked I'm at 405 so we hit the 400 mark thank you so much um, and yeah we um, look forward to hitting that thousand mark and we look forward to serving you. Uh, if you're in our area in the 209 in California, um, there's a good chance that we come to your area, your your city, um, if you are watching this and you would like us to service service your, your home in one way or another, carpet, tile, upholstery, hard, hardwood floors, or house cleaning, or uh, dryer vent cleaning, we would love to earn your business. Thank you so much, and I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. You guys have a great day. All right, everybody, I wanted to show you guys a little something. So, here's why clean vacuum is important. So, here's my tool. Here's my nice clear. Let's see if it does it like it did the other ones. This one may not be as bad. I'm not going to be able to prove my point on this one. <laughs> Maybe this is the side sitting down. Oh. A little bit of brown right there. Let's try the other side. This was obviously for demonstration purposes. This one didn't really give us a good idea, but you can see the brown there. Uh, and now it's still important to clean back a pulse screen before putting your pre spray on. But uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to show you guys. You know, let's clear it out a little bit. So it's actually. Not too bad, but the first two I did. 
it uh, basically browned out the entire upholstery tool here. showed you the cushion that's in not bad shape out of the two I've done already of course so of course that's gonna happen but uh, the idea behind it was to show you the need for pre-vacuum because even using my upholstery tool like this to pre-vac it it was pulling up a lot of dry soil that was sticking inside because I've already used the tool um, do some cleaning so the moisture that was still left in there caught a lot of it on the walls of the tool showing you that it was browning it out from the dirt that was stuck on the upholstery so today after this I've got an airy rug synthetic and four rooms of carpet, so I'll try and show you guys as much as I can. Today, I got this job and two estimates afterwards. Uh, both, I believe, are for carpet cleaning, if I remember correctly, right now. I just added one while I was here. I messaged us on Facebook and happened to have some free time today so we could come by. Get these estimates taken care of. Hopefully scheduled out.
four rooms are kind of like this one, pretty small. As far as the area is being cleaned, and then the master's about twice the size as far as areas to be cleaned. This is some thick carpet. All done cleaning the upholstery. Just doing the cushions on that, as you saw earlier. Guys, rinsing, rinsing, and rinsing. Hope it's not in bad shape. I'm not sure the last time they had it cleaned.
All right, BDS screw. One more room of vacuuming, and then these two rooms get cleaned up. So pretty much just traffic wear. There isn't any real stains uh, in this carpet. Looks like it's you know fairly well kept. It's just the wear in the traffic areas that's kind of beat down, but other than that, that's pretty much it. And then, uh, yeah, this cracked me up. I'm sorry, I gotta show you guys. This made me laugh. <laughs> That's pretty funny. So on to my next room here. This one has pre-existing conditions. So this one's pre-existing conditions Oop. over on this side here. So I guess they had some kind of leak um, once in the past and then they got dealt with and then it happened again. So I'm going to clean it. There isn't an odor in here. Can't smell anything, so I the pad was replaced from what she told me. But then it happened again and the pad hasn't been replaced. So she couldn't tell me. Uh, she wasn't sure if there was moisture barrier pad or not, but when it's up against the, the baseboard area, moisture barrier padding will not keep it from getting damaged because it's um, a plastic layer on the top and of course it, the pad stops about an inch, inch and a half before the baseboard because of the tack strip. So moisture could still get under there and soak into the pad. So there's a chance that the pad can still get damaged. Even though you have moisture barrier padding, if your pet or anybody has spilt anything right up near the baseboard, uh, oops, that does not mean that it's going to save it. So I'm going to clean this, and if there's an odor, Deodorize it, but that's all I had committed to doing. Something got my cord wrapped up somewhere here. There we go. Cord got wrapped under the canister. So I'm gonna clean it and apply that stuff and go from there. So I didn't make any guarantees because this is pre-existing and it could be in, in bad shape underneath the carpet. So this is why it's important to do as many of the free estimates as you can because this gives you an opportunity to learn about their situation, why they're having you out and what's going on, what you need to do to perform your job properly and all that. So, you know, let's let's say that I didn't come out here, did an estimate first and she forgot to mention that to me and I had no idea because you can't tell by looking at it. You know, it looks fine over there. And then I go clean it and then there's an odor that pops up from the pad or whatever because um, like I said we, I, it hasn't been disclosed that it is a moisture barrier pad so it could 
very well be your, your regular padding. So if that happens, what's the first thing that usually happens after um, you've cleaned for somebody and you weren't made aware of something and an odor pops up? Well, you were the last one there, so now it's, now it's because of you and you left an odor. So that's why it's important to do walkthroughs, pre-inspections with the client before you get started. And, um, you know, it can save you from things like that. So it's kind of just random thoughts because over here, along the baseboard, she told me about that, you know, and I guess it's only maybe a half foot out along this baseboard that it was a problem and they got a lot of the moisture out from my understanding. But I don't know if they used a professional company for that or if they only did it themselves. So always...